Um, yes, I'm Claire Morris. I'm the creative director at Toxted TV. Um, we're a community organisation that's been going for about 10 years. Um, and primarily what we deliver is training courses in filmmaking and also community engagement courses. And sometimes we've struggled to bring the two projects together. Uh, and we've also sometimes struggled to find a way of making those projects have a lasting legacy on the community and have a real impact. At the same time as kind of recognising these struggles we were having, we noticed that there was a, a change in the demand for technology. And it wasn't so much for those kind of high tech and expensive cameras, which is just as well for us, really. Uh, and it was much more for the um, what people had already. You've got it all in front of you. I can see loads of you are using them now. Uh, your iPhones, your iPads, um, your most basic of phones at the moment has got a camera on it. Um, and usually it's a really good one. Uh, and we were kind of recognising that people were wanting to walk in um, and walk out at the end of the day with a film uploaded to YouTube. Um, they wanted it now. So uh, it was about two years ago that we developed a partnership with an organisation called People's Voice Media. Uh, they're based in Manchester. They've been working since 1995, specialising in social media and community engagement. Woohoo, it ticks all of our boxes. Um, and key to what they were doing was how they defined social media. Uh, they define it as social media is a tool that allows communities to produce the content they want to produce. OK, so key to that really is that social media is not social networks. Social media is not Facebook and it's not Twitter. Social media is people and content. Um, and, and really my, what, what kind of what that's, that's brought to life for me is that Twitter and Facebook, much as I love them, I'm at Toxa TV. Come follow me. It's really fun. Um, but really, they are just gimmicks. They're pathways to kind of disseminate the content. And it's content that's key. Um, when you're talking about social, you're talking about people. Um, uh, Twitter, when it, was, when it was created, I'm sure, um, uh, and the same with Facebook, was not created to empower communities. We're the ones that are going to use it to fulfill our aims to empower communities. So. The Community Reporters Project is what uh, People's Voice Media use as, uh, as a base for this, this kind of thinking. And really, it's a, it's a program that builds confidence, allows people to learn new skills, allows people to tell a story about themselves or their communities using mobiles, video cameras, and technology in the pocket devices. You'll notice over there that I've got Lindsay here using a flip cam. She's one of our community reporters, and I'll kind of come back to her later. <laughs> um, participants learn through a course which lasts about 12 days, but obviously works very flexibly, and includes um, blogging, basic photography, storytelling, health and safety issues, safe online practice, and then a choice between audio skills or filmmaking. Key to everything is content. Once you've begun creating content as a community reporter, uh, you can continue your social media activity in the way that best suits you. Reporters manage their own blogs, they post stories on local community sites, they share content through our website, through the People's Voice Media website, uh, they can create newsletters, they can create Twitter pages, they can create films, um, but we're not just talking about social networking sites. The potential for topics that community reporters can cover is endless and very varied. Projects in the past have included things like producing an online video diary about the experience of a diet uh, or a podcast of a match between two local football teams, a blog recording the experience of a family going through uh, trying to make their lives more environmentally friendly. Uh, one project launched by People's Voice Media in Salford involved a group of breastfeeding mums who used blogs to record their experiences allowing other people from the community to post their own thoughts, uh, creating a kind of online community around the issue. The mums ended up becoming quite confident and vocal, um, and they started to, uh, well, they've started to work now on launching an online live TV show with local GPs, which will have a discussion forming, forming, running alongside it. And so viewers can be actively engaged in the programme, and God knows what further content will be created from that what further discussion will happen. 
So an another way that the community reporters can directly impact on the local communities is through partnerships like with uh, social landlords or with the police. When organisations like that need to consider feedback or make decisions about the development of their community, they can enlist the community to gather that information for a step on from engaging communities using social media but to giving the community actual ownership and empowerment uh, on the on an ability to kind of make a real and tangible impact and it works for the organizations as well because pe people generally well I would respond better to a neighbor coming up to me in the pub asking me to record something record my voice on an audio device rather than a policeman on my doorstep with a questionnaire wondering why my thoughts on crime in the area. Um, in the past, projects like this that the People's Voice Media have facilitated and that we're kind of leading on from now have directly impacted on the way that those organisations have started running their social media and their community engagement. Uh, when community reporters posted a series of videos online about proposed regeneration in their community, the social landlord sat up, took notice and responded by uploading their own video back in return. The engagement levels in this project were undoubtedly higher than if a report had landed on people's doorsteps in response to their videos. Uh, the latest organisational development from People's Voice Media is the launch of the social licence and Toxa TV are proudly the first social licence holders in Liverpool. Um, and this is more about investing in the, social, in the community groups and arts organisations and so strengthening communities from the inside out. What the social licence gives us is uh, the training and experience and knowledge that People's Voice Media have uh, to train our in-house um, filmmakers and people from the community that are interested in getting involved to then disseminate the training out amongst our community. We currently have eight community rec reporters creating content and learning new skills. Um, and I feel that we're those dilemmas that we had a couple of years ago which was which was about creating lasting impact for a project allowing community to have ownership over that project as well as upskilling people in latest technologies and I think what's really important now is that I hand you just very quickly over to Lindsay she's one of our newest community reporters who has already this morning shown me a film that she made last night quite impressive really um, and she's just going to talk a bit about what it means to her but before she does that I do need to get the camera off her so I can film you <laughs> um, so basically it's given me the scope to be more creative um, my editing skills are getting better I've had three weeks of practice now so I'm actually getting there but I'm looking forward to the future now. I'm, I'm eager and excited and it's great because it's something as well because they're so easy to use that my son, he's seven, he's actually had a little go as well and he's really interested in it as well. So yeah, it's great all round. Uh, we are looking for more community reporters. If it's something that you, any of you would like to kind of jump on board with, it's absolutely, you know, a fantastic opportunity. So yeah, thank you very much, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So just to, just to say quickly, um, thank you to Lindsay for coming down. She is going to be um, filming little snippets of the day. She's going to make a, a community report about the day and that means that she might want to just have a quick word, especially with the other speakers as well if she if she kind of comes up and asks you some questions and, and you're not happy being filmed just um just ask her not to film really because otherwise she will stick that flip camera in your face um because she's making a film of the day and this afternoon we have another community reporter coming down who will be doing the same thing capturing the day um so thanks very much it's been a real pleasure to talk to you about this project it's brand new for us we're really excited about it um, and if you want to find out any more just find me because i'm here all day Thank you.